Hey, it's another Friday. Made it again. Um, big weekend ahead of us. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you're just going to sit on your butt all weekend. That's okay too. Um, today and next week, we're going to be in the lab a lot. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of measurement things. And uh, you need to get introduced today to a triple beam balance and, and what it measures and how to use it. So, um, triple beam balances, these guys are used to measure the mass of an object. Uh, mass is a measurement of how much stuff is inside something. Uh, and a lot of people say, oh, your mass is how much space you take up. And uh, that's more volume. Volume is a measurement of how much space something takes up. But uh, the mass is a measurement of how much stuff is inside an object. For example, if I have a can of Barbasol, okay, shaving cream. If I, uh, it's got stuff inside it, you can kind of hear it. Um, if I find the mass of it right now, and then I empty the contents of it, and then I put it back on there, the mass is going to be less. But it's still taking up the exact same amount of space. So um, mass is more how much stuff is inside an object. And um, a lot of people then too are like, oh, your mass is your weight. And those terms are related. Um, however, there's some key differences. Uh, the main one being that your mass is a constant. Uh, if I could magically go to the moon right now, my mass, what I'm made up of, that won't change uh, as opposed to my weight, which would be less because there's less gravity on the moon. Um, so I would weigh less and kind of go that way. So I want to show you balance, Whoop. triple beam balance. It's called a triple beam balance because there are one, two, three beams. Uh, these objects, these weights right here are called riders. And they ride across the beams. Uh, you've got your pointer over here. This should be at zero before you start anything. Uh, and then you've got your pan. That's where you place your object, okay? And the first thing you do is make sure that your your riders are at zero and that your pointer is at zero. And then you place your object on top of the pan. Uh, the first thing you need to start with is your, your 100 gram uh, rider weights. And you slide it over. And make sure when you slide it over that, that it kind of clicks in place. So I slid it over to 100 and it didn't do anything. And then I slide over to 200, still didn't do anything. 300, oh, I'm moving a little bit. Uh, 400 will probably drop down. Okay, so at 400 it fell down. So that tells me that 400 grams is too much. So I know that it's less than 400 grams. So I slide it back to 300. And then I go to my tens. And I slide over. So it's pretty close to that little bit too much so I need to go back to zero here and then I start with my my ones it's probably gonna be fairly close to 10 um, and then once it kind of settles down here so close Bingo. Okay, and then to find the mass of the object, all you do is add your weights up. So I've got 300 plus zero, so that's still 300. And then 300 plus 9.9 .9 grams. So 309.9 .9 grams for that can of Barbasol. So you're going to get a lot of practice with that on Monday. And uh, into next week, we'll be measuring mass and volume and uh, length using metric rulers. So, um, have a great weekend. Don't have any homework. Uh, just explore. Explore your stuff. And be ready to go. See ya.